Hi all, uh, we're going to call this day six of the shed build, although we've only really been doing half days, and bits and pieces in between other jobs, so progress is plodding along, nothing too drastic. Anyway, today we're going to try and build the back wall and, um, and get the main roof beam up. Um, I'm going to just try and leave the camera run and get a little bit of a little bit of footage as we're going, and if there's any details, I'll I'll, um, I'll I'll bring that up as well. All right, so uh, I'll just show you where we are up to at the minute. So we've got the front rail up, these uprights up, floor joists are all in and treated, um, and we're now going to do a back wall. Now we're going to construct it mainly out of pallets because that's what we've got here and then we're going to felt, torch on felt the back so it's a solid waterproof because it doesn't matter how it looks it's going right up against the fence it's just a matter of trying to get it so it's um, waterproof. Oh, I've obviously got some guess. Okay Right, we've got the main cross beam to put in. Slight change of plan, as in pitch wise, we're going to have it higher than the front, so it drops to the front and drops to the back. So, holes are all drawn, blocks are on. We have some very short staff today, and when I say short staffed, I mean short in stature. So we've had to build a platform so they can hold the beam up. So it's nice that, um, you know, you can, so I can't moan about it really, because uh, if I had some eight foot people here, they'd probably want more money. So, right, okay, here we go. I'll just set this up. Right, you gotta go your, to you a bit. Ready? Is that hole anywhere near? Yeah, go on then. A bit more. Yeah, perfect here. Right. It's nice today, isn't it? Yeah. Apart from a bit cloudy. Oh, oh, break my neck. Get that on camera. Yeah. What we're trying to avoid is having a upright here because it's obviously going to ruin the workspace so I'm going to attempt to do it, this looks pretty strong, I'm going to attempt to do it without an upright um, by jiggery pokering the roof a bit Right, I've got the centre pole, uh, centre, well, well, ridge plate we're going to call that, this is the main beam going across the middle I've just put a temporary upright there at the minute um, as you can see where the baton is, that's giving us a pitch up to the middle and then down to the back. And we're now going to make up a back wall from this old pallet. Hopefully that will become a bit more obvious in a little while. Um, I'm kind of changing my mind with the centre post thing, I don't know if I quite like it. I might have to have a little think about that. If I can find something nice, a feature piece, maybe, that might be the way to go. And put that in the middle. Anyway, we've put that there temporarily just to take any, any flex out while we're doing the roof stuff. And we'll take it from there. Right. Very rough plate cut. Them on there. And that should make a bit of a barrier. <sighs> 
going to have to be too pretty because all this is going to be covered in and the back's going to be covered in so this is just like a poor man stud work really uh, just to give us a bit of um it's just saving us put wasting a load of good wood on a stud work wall so we're just going to literally run this in we're running it to the floor plate so we've got an idea of, we've got an idea of levels and um, yeah board the back out my boys now making a little former up so we can just get the height right we're about six and a half foot this end um, and so this just to give us a little bit of rigidity so we can um, we eventually want to lay this down board it and then put it up in one section Amish style anyway nothing too technical or pretty Give or take. Blind man would be pleased to see that. They just got to make sure that level at the top is all is square, didn't we? Hold that there for me. Alright, just gonna cut some cut some uh, plates. What we're joining the pads together is just a little bit of waste wood. that done. Right, we've built the stud work wall, poor man stud work, and this is the exciting bit. We're going to lay this flat down, and because we've constructed it so well, it's not going to fall to pieces, and then we're going to board out the other side. Okay, so jacks this end, mix this end, and I'm in the middle. So if anyone's going to get really hurt, that'll be me. Ready? So we're just lying straight down flat, yeah? Alright. It's heavy. Right down. Yeah, I'm going to put a bit of board on it. Jesus, it ain't going to need too much though, is it? Push it up now. <coughs> yeah. Right, we're going to just use, we've just got all loads of old off, off cuts and stuff. Doesn't really matter because we're going to put a waterproof felt on it anyway, a torch on felt on it. So this is purely and simply just to get a rough level and it is rough so 
the thing with something like this is we're not worried too much about the aesthetics of it because a it's a shed but b it's um this side is not going to be seen anyway because it's going to be right up against the hedge right up against the fence so we're not worried too much about how it looks been quite a good day today we've got quite a lot done so a lot achieved and the other thing I keep saying is it's a long way to go from here to the hardware shop so we generally just use what we've got here rather than keep running about because you never get nothing done if you keep having to go into into being queues and running 30, 40 mile, 50 mile round trip it is. So sometimes things aren't very, that isn't always what you need. another thing no one's going to learn anything by watching me do this the disadvantage of doing this this way round is you can mark a felt if you get it too hot but this is this is a new felt I haven't used this before this is quite good stuff I don't need a lot of heat on there it's going down the tree You can fold it out and do it in sections. I always, always get in a bother with that, so. Uh, end of the day, knackered. Six o'clock on a whenever we would started at six and we're now finished at six right we're torched on the what is going to be the back wall um my camera woman is going to show you that before uh and um yeah it's not a brilliant job i'm sure there'll be a thousand gypsies all around england screaming at the telly but it's watertight it's burnt torch down i just used the felt i had left over so it's a bit of a patchwork quilt but we've got plenty of overlap on it so hopefully that'll be watertight um lot like i say it's not getting a lot of weather anyway because it's going right up against the fence so the dogs all like it and that's not a bad day's work we built this built that torched that on and processed and cut up a hell of a lot of wood so that's it there we go so uh, i might just sleep here because it's still quite warm quite nice and warm <laughs> uh, pig likes it don't you pig uh, i'll just have a shower get the dogs to give me a little shower and then and then off to the pub all right till next time cut <laughs>